good, good. Walkthroughs are hard for me. Half speed, it's not in my nature to go half speed and do things, but um, the guys were sharp um, and they were in tune. You know, we talk about not changing your level of focus with the change in tempo. So they, I thought they did a good job of that today. What we got? Where do you build on from, from a game like Monday night? Yeah, rough one, right? Just not enough plays in the game, you know, just really looking at it. And of course, like one of my, one of my uh, skills is overthinking a lot of things and just kind of sitting there looking at it. You know, it just came down to fundamental execution, you know, uh, throwing and catching, blocking, you know, finishing runs, all those things that we have to get better at. You know, we've had three performances in the regular season now, and none of them are really up to the standard that we want fundamentally. Um, the guys are playing hard. The guys are trying. We had the right attitude on the sidelines, stayed together. Um, but it's just something that I think that we have to grow, all, me included, but all of us have to continue to take those steps to grow. I know each week you're doing some self-reflection on, yeah. on yourself and, and how you can grow. Is there yeah. any, were there any uh, plays that, that you wish you could have had back in that game? Yeah, really just the, the half-yard line run. You know, that was the one where, you know, like – Part of our MO is going to be we're going to be able to run the ball at all times. This is the best defensive front in football. And just running like a tight run right there in that situation probably wasn't the best thing. I don't want to go into too much of what else we could do in that situation. But um, I definitely have to take that one, you know, first and foremost for that. You know, you talk about you're still growing. The offense is still yeah. growing. Bowles has referenced that. And I remember, for example, when Brady came here, Arian said, it took him, you know, a smart guy like him, a veteran, till the end of November, basically, to fully absorb the offense. So when is a realistic target date or expectation that you think you use every bit of your offense and that everybody will know what to do, everybody will be in sync? Yeah, I think that I think the guys know what to do. Um, just the full speed reps of playing together as a unit is just the thing that's going to help us grow, learn from the film. Um, but I don't really have a timeline. I just know that. You know, normally you'd like your bye week to be like halfway through the season or even later to kind of rest yourself up for the run. This year it's kind of a gift that's happening early where we can really look at four games and say, what are our best runs averaged? You know, what are our best pass concepts where the quarterback looks rhythmic and we're putting Mike and Chris in the best possible situation? So um, we got another opportunity here to put some more things on film um, to really start to hone in on that, on that identity. But I don't want to rush anything. Um, I don't want to make any wholesale changes, you know, schematically or a personnel standpoint at this point while we're still gathering information and really trying to learn the offense. If they're watching the game, how much has the efficiency on first down played into the struggles uh, a little bit? Are you winning enough on first down to set you guys up for the, the rest of it? Yeah, the first couple weeks we were efficient in the run game. Um, our play action hasn't been where, it, where I'd like it to be. Um, you know, we just a near miss on DT. Um, on a crossing concept, you know, where we had them dead to rights in the coverage, we got to make those, you know, and there were just some, some things like that just that came up in the game where um, I feel like the mix is good. I feel like the, um, we have the right mentality with what we're doing, and we just got to execute and finish the plays. Baker had mentioned yesterday of being more aggressive yeah. on offense. Are you seeing that as well? Um, no, not really. We're taking a good amount of shots. I mean, you're seeing some balls, you know, like the biggest thing is like how many balls over 40 yards air yards are we averaging per game? And we're right around with the number of plays. We're right around what you want to be, what we want to be. Um, and if you look league wide, you know, that's kind of we're being able to do that. Getting more turns is really the deal. We didn't have enough plays to take more shots, but we put the ball down the field a good amount. Um, but again, the one thing I wasn't going to do against a really good front is just think we could just also just drop back and just put our O-line in a pass protection mode right away like that, especially with our defense playing as well as they were early on in the game. So Baker, Baker yesterday, I was like, you seem pretty positive. You know, I know he wants to win. Yeah. He's like, take nothing away from the Eagles. That's a good defense. But yeah. everything that we didn't do or mistakes was correctable. Do yeah. you feel the, the same way? Yeah, I think he hit it right on the head. You know, again, if it was schematic things, um, if there were wholesale changes, then I would be more concerned. But when you look at the tape, you know, we're talking about throwing and catching. We're talking about taking care of the ball, you know, um, with an interception and a fumble, our first two turnovers of the year. Um, it just makes it harder against a really elite team. I mean, that's, you know, we talk about championship football, wanting to be a playoff team. Those are the types of teams that we have to be able to make those plays on. They made theirs. We didn't make ours, you know. Of following a plan or doing what you want offensively, I yeah. would think two turnovers in three games has to be 
one, one of the most encouraging parts. What do you yeah. think has been the key to limiting those mistakes so far? Uh, the decisions of the quarterback. Uh, the timing and rhythm of the receivers, tight ends, backs in the pass game so that we can get those out. Obviously, protection. Um, that was like that was a real bright spot, too, just that late drive that we had where we went down the field throwing the ball a little bit, right? And that's kind of the first time that you've all seen us really just kind of spread it out and go after it, other than a, the two-minute drive in Minnesota, you know. Um, so I th I just, that was just really encouraging for me so that I can start growing my confidence in, hey, look, we got this whole other phase that we can do to have positive plays. Um, as we mix in, you know, the the identity of what we're doing. Yeah, we look at the running game. It looked like you went away from some of the mid zone and wide yeah. zone stuff against the Eagles. A lot more duo. What was the thinking behind that? Yeah, just uh, you know, set it up here, you know, and just kind of trying to get double teams on some really good players inside. Um, you know, when you start going laterally, you get a little bit thinned out. So, um, you know, having played against the Niners, the Rams, you know, teams like that, Arizona put some really good fronts at us. Just being able to have that mix of plays that can hit downhill, you know, so you can stay on those combos a little bit longer and try to get some voids for the backs. So going, this game's going to be real loud. Mm -hmm. We were talking to Tristan Werfs yesterday, and he's like, you know what? We did pretty good against Minnesota. It was loud there. We're pretty good yeah. with the signals, hand signals. Uh, Anything special you got to do for these guys? Uh, same approach. You know, we really took that Minnesota game seriously. We really take this one seriously with the noise. So kind of the same approach that we went into that with handling that, um, being able to communicate non-verbally. So very similar approach. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're going to just try to do the same thing from a pre-snap standpoint. Sorry. Um, has Chris Godwin been involved enough in the offense to your liking, or has the defense coverage kind of dictated Mike Evans popping off to begin the season? Yeah, I think, you know, again, 40 some odd plays, you know, so like Mike really got a lot of his targets at the end. Otherwise, we're looking at two guys with, that really didn't produce. So again, that's on me building a plan that puts those guys in with opportunities. But, you know, I think it's honestly just kind of learning guys. You know, we had some near misses on Chris for the first two weeks, you know, that really could have been bigger days for him. So um, just making sure we capitalize on those opportunities down the field, uh, especially like the Bears game. You know, we just missed him a couple times. That would have been a huge day for him. You know, so um, we're, we're designing it to go to Mike and Chris. You know, nobody, that's not a surprise, and I can say that here. You know, we're designing our plays to do that. Um, and then Baker also just has to be true to his reads and, and where his best matchups end up coming from. But when you play a team like the Saints, you know, yeah. where, especially when they've got a guy like Marshawn Lattimore out there. Yeah. You know, it's no secret that him and Mike Evans, they, they go at it a lot, and those are some really hard-fought battles. Um, are you getting enough out of your tight end play, though, when, when teams do – you know, really key in on Mike and Chris. Are you getting enough out of, of those guys? That yeah, yeah, absolutely. I feel great about Cade. Um, you know, Co and, uh, and Wells really, in what we're asking them to do, they're doing a fantastic job. You know, and Cade made a huge catch early on, got an explosive play with a, just a great, just like stretch out catch there. So, um, but again, you know, it's, it's more really focusing on Mike and Chris. The ball will go to everybody else as the coverage allows. RB1, obviously the attention yeah. is going to be on, on him when things are, are going well, when they are going well. But you know, the focus obviously, obviously is on him. But you yeah. guys are, are tied for last for yards per carry. Right. For one, what's, what's hampering maybe the running game? It can't be just obviously for shot. Yeah, I think it's just rhythmic. You know, um, I'm, I'm really excited. Not that every run has been blocked perfect, but I'm excited about the guys getting guys covered up. And then at this point now, it's just about building the right mentality in the run game. And then for them, just reps. Just seeing the mid zones, seeing the downhill stuff, seeing the gun runs, kind of feeling where those voids are going to be, you know, and I think that'll help to, you know, really boost Rashad's confidence in being decisive in some of the runs. So um, I think that, again, that's just a rep thing at this point, you know, with three games um, that we have to just continue to stay with it. And I think the one thing you'll learn is um, – I'm going to be a little bit stubborn about running that ball and having that balance. It's not, it's not going to be that we're just going to run it every time, you know, um, but in our self scout up to this point, it's been good balance. And so um, I think we'll continue to improve as they get more reps and more rhythm with the runs. Todd had mentioned that he, that there maybe some runs were there, that it's kind of the, the dirty runs that he's yeah. trying to do too much. Are, were you seeing that as well? Maybe, maybe a little bit, but um, in general, you know, and the coach, coach is making a, you know, a good statement there about what he just sees, you know, from, from the flow of a game. And I think a part of the mentality we're trying to establish here is if you're, a, if you're a running team who throws play actions for those guys, for the line, for the tight ends, for the receivers on blocks, for the running backs, it's got to have an aggressive mindset. We're not where we need to be. 
as a group with that mindset running the ball yet. Dave, when you look at, at the Saints front seven on defense, they've undergone a lot of turnover, especially on the defensive line. Yeah. There's a couple of veteran stalwarts that have been there and done that for quite a while yeah. in New Orleans. Demario Davis, their Mike, and, and yeah. Cam Jordan. What do you see from those two guys this year on film? Oh, I mean, they haven't lost a step. They look fantastic. Cam, Cam still has all of his power. He's got great hands, you know. Demario, he's he's big on just kind of evaluating the formations, taking his shots when he feels like he can, um, and that's something that we have to be aware of. You know uh, that he's going to take his shots, so have your eyes up. You know, 56 runs pre runs are a lot more successful when we put a hat on 56. So um, they look great. They look fantastic. You mentioned earlier the offense finding its identity. Yeah. Where are you in that process? I mean, do you think the identity has been established and you just need to execute better, or is it still evolving? Is it still yeah. to be determined? Yeah, I think, um, again, just kind of going back to the, the attitude and style that we're trying to create here, um, we're not where we need to be. As far as the, the mix and the style of things we're doing, I love what we're doing. Um, Goody's been putting some great run plans together with the whole group. Um, and as we go through it, you know, it feels really good, the mix and variety of things we have. Um, and now it's just a matter of, because what happens is when guys know what to do, you see fast and aggressive play. So that's where, to me, I can see that and understand we're not there yet. We know what they are, but the understanding of, man, I know this like the back of my hand, whatever they put in front of me, I know how to adjust. We're still growing there. A couple of young guys on the right side with Cody and Luke. What have you yeah. seen out of them for the first three games? Yeah, so um, encouraged by Cody's just flexibility and his athleticism. So even if he gets in a bad spot, he can recover. Uh, that's been really encouraging there. Luke, just the power that he brings on that side. Um, and then from a pass, bro, uh, pass protection standpoint, they've done a fantastic job. You know, um, our sacks aren't very high. You know, Baker's making some, some plays in the pocket, which all quarterbacks do, playing against NFL rushes. But I'm really encouraged by that side, just kind of the growth of it. And Cody has a long way to go fundamentally. I mean, you watch him, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a crazy man out there sometimes. He's so aggressive. You know, and he's got all this ability that he's, that he's relied on in the past. Now it's time to just refine my hand placement, my base, and all those things to settle down and know you're a big, strong athlete. You'll be, able to, you'll be okay if you just trust your fundamentals. Take two more questions, well please. Done in the past, bro. Those guys are you know, advertised as good run blockers yeah. first, but their pass pro looks like it's been better this yeah. year than their, than their run block. Yeah, I, I, again, I'm encouraged by the pass pro stuff against a really good group. You know, we, they had a couple issues, but, um, you know, flipping two tackles to other sides, different spots, and a rookie guard, you know, and the space that Baker has had to make some of these throws has been really encouraging for me. For you, like, uh, you talked to a lot of the players in the locker room, yeah. and they just say you're so unbelievably positive. I know Baker was even like, at first you're like, is this guy for real? Is it an act? And, like, then you see, oh, no, it's, it's sincere. Like, just for you, where does that, where does that come from? Uh, first, my faith. You know, I think that every day is a blessing. You know, I wake up every morning. I kind of like to say this, you know, uh, kidding with some of the guys, but I wake up every morning and the sticks say first and 10. And I got a new set of downs, you know, and how good does that feel in a game, right? It's the same thing for me. I wake up and I have another opportunity to do this, be with all of you, to be with all those guys, you know, just the seeing guys in the hallway, um, being outside in the sun today, just it's, it's such a blessing to me. Um, and then I got a vision for where we could go and where we can become as a group with the talent that we have. So a lot of the issues that you guys are talking about, they're real and, and it weighs heavy on me, but it doesn't deter me because I see this unit coming together with these skill outside, these special players outside, this group of running backs that are gonna grow into what we want and this offensive line um, that really we have the talent to do whatever we want to, you know, so that thought propels me forward through a rough game like Monday night that, hey, we needed this experience to see, guys. Now we've had three games where we haven't been sharp. When you play a really good team, this is how the outcome could be, as opposed to you play teams that, that we, we had a little bit of an edge on. We made some big plays that really saved us you know, in those games. You don't always want to just rely on the good play, the big plays, right? We want to be able to walk the ball down the field with confidence and be efficient. Okay, thank you. Yep. Thank you all. All right.